my theme is this. The devil thought he buried you, but he forgot you were a seed of God. The devil thought he had buried you under debt and under fear and under adversity and under all kinds of vicissitudes, but he forgot something, that you are the seed of God. When you bury a seed, it's not a funeral. When you bury a seed, it's not a process for mourning. Now, when we bury dead people, of course, it's called a homegoing service, and we have all kinds of accoutrements, and we have all kinds of ceremonies. But when you bury a seed, you bury the seed with expectation. You don't bury the seed and mourn that something has ended. You bury a seed believing that something is about to begin. That something that you cannot see is happening underneath the ground that's going to change and feed and provide for everybody in the community when you bury the seed. Tell somebody, I'm a seed. And what is amazing about a seed is that when you bury a seed, you always get much more than what you buried. If I bury one kernel of corn, I'm going to get 1,800 kernels from that one seed. If I bury one apple seed, I'm going to get over 1,000 apples from that one seed. The devil thought on Good Friday that he had won. This man called Jesus, the Messiah, Mary's baby, the lily of the valley, God in the flesh, Emmanuel, the bright and morning star. He thought that when Jesus was buried, that he had won the battle. He was dancing a jig. He was praising himself. The demons were clapping. The disciples were running. Mary was crying. Everybody thought that they had buried the Messiah. But they forgot he was a seed of God. He was the seed promised from Abraham and David through a thousand generations. And when you buried the seed of God, what came forth is everybody in this room. We are the fruit of the seed that was buried on Good Friday to become a better Sunday. When the devil tries to bury you and suffocate you, and put you under all that dirt. Always remind yourself that I'm a seed. And from this burial will come exponential growth. One of my clients, Bill Marriott, who owns the Marriott Hotel chain, about 20 years ago was going bankrupt. Meaning that he had built too many hotels, too fast. He called his business being a mile wide and an inch deep. That the profit margins were very low. And any catastrophe, any lack of income flow could bring down his entire hotel empire. So he came out to Hawaii. We had a leadership retreat in Maui. And I said, I want you to go visit an old Chinese farmer, for he will teach you a lesson that you'll never forget. The Chinese farmer was growing, my beloved, the most difficult kind of tree in the world to grow called the Chinese bamboo tree. What makes it so difficult? Well, you put that seed in the ground, and after one year of watering and cultivating and fertilizing, after one full year of investment and time and effort and sweat and tears and toil, you look out and you see nothing for your investment. Can you imagine being a farmer, putting a seed in the ground, and after one full year of activity and labor and investment and fertilizer and irrigation, and look out and see nothing, not a bulb, not a sapling, nothing to see. People drive by and they laugh at the farmer and say, he's a mud farmer, that's all he grows, nothing is coming out of his ground. But you think that's bad. Years two, three, and four are the exact same way. Can you even plausibly imagine in 